Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to dramatically increase the download speed of your files. So to do this, you'll need a free application known as JDownloader. I'll put the link for this in the description. But the first thing you have to do once this is downloaded and installed is where it says max connections, put this to 20. Where it says max downloads, put that to 20. And where it says speed, put it to zero. So the max connections is the amount of connections you are giving to the host. So say it's a host like Mediafire.com and say they limited you to 100 kilobytes per second. Theoretically, if you connected to them 20 times for the same file, you're getting 20 times that speed. So 20 times 100 kilobytes per second is two megabytes per second. So if your download speed could take it, you could get 20 times the speed. Max downloads is how many files you can download at the same time. And the speed is your limit. So say you want to limit your files to 800 kilobytes per second, you just put that in. But zero means unlimited. Now to prove that this actually works. So if I go here, um, this is just a random file, it doesn't really matter what it is. But the guy says the download is a little bit slow. So if I just try and save the file in Chrome, just normally how you would do it. Let's press save. As you can see, the download speed is very, very slow. It says it's going to take two to three hours, and I'm getting in the 20 kilobyte per second zone. So if I just cancel that. Now, if I copy the link and go to JDownloader, you can see it's already got it because it's got a link grabber, and it also checks if the file is online, which is really, really nice because sometimes you try and download something, but it turns out that it's offline. So there's no point even wasting your time. It finds the file size for you and the file name even before you start downloading, which is really cool. And then all you do is either press the play button or just right click and press continue with all. So if I just press the play button, you can see it will say connecting and then start to connect 20 times if it can. And you should see that the download speed will start to climb. And already it's a lot faster than 20 kilobytes per second. It's still not fast, but I'll pause it, and when it gets faster, I'll come back to it. Okay, so we are back, and it's just been a few few seconds, and it has shot up. So it's getting really close to that one megabyte per second range. So before, with Chrome, we, we were hardly getting 30 kilobytes per second, and now we are getting much, much faster. So from two hours to under five minutes. So that is a drastic improvement. If you want to remove it, you can either pause, stop it, or press this remove button, but for some reason it doesn't like to work. Or you can just go delete from list or from disk. So as you can see that it drastically improved my speed. And one other thing that it's great at is, um, you know, sometimes you get downloads, but they're in parts because the file host um, limits the file size. So say you have a 500 megabyte file and the file host limits to... Um, 100 megabyte per upload so you end up with five parts J downloader is really good at managing that so I've got some programs that um, I uploaded to Mediafire a while ago so if I copy both of these links as you can see it's already put them in Mediafire and now it's doing its link grabber thing to check the files so as you can see it's part one and part two and it's found out that it's online and what it's great at um, is once these are downloaded it will uncompress them so you actually get the final folder as you can see here in extensions it says JD Unra, and it will extract the download slash extracted which is really nice so I press start um, if it has a capture it asks you to type it in now so let's see if I can get this right Oh, I think I got that one wrong. Wow, I'm terrible at these. Or maybe they're just getting harder. Nope, there we go. So as you can see there, I'm getting really good speeds. And once it's downloaded, it will put them together as one folder. And, um, well, that's about it. That is JDownloader. It drastically improves your download speed and that is all so thank you for watching